Design has very uh, topical definitions as far as folks within the design spaces. And what I'm learning had the, the, the joy and the beauty of being a part of th this new community is learning that design is creative ways to solve problems um, while also examining how how others might help you to, to solve those problems. It's always shaped around partnering, collaborating, taking an idea, having an idea, taking it to somebody else to get their feedback. What are your thoughts? Uh, what should I do better? What could I do better? What could I change? What am I forgetting? What biases did I include in this? What, what, what spaces of inclusivity did I not take into account? It depends on who you are. It depends on what part, it depends on the environment, the context that you're a part of. Um, it depends on what you've experienced. Um, it depends on what you speak. It depends on uh, what you value as a um, as a person in a particular context of the world. Um, and it depends on whether or not, and it also depends on your privileges um, that you may or may not recognize. Well, the first thing I would say is that I feel like the broadest definition of design for me would be intentional transformation of the world, including the self. Like if you just look at yourself, that's also, you can design yourself, that's fine. Um, I think when I started out, I did not know that. When I was a student, um, I thought that design was this magical thing that some people could do and they seem to dress well. <laughs> And uh, and use a lot of colors. Listen, building bridges, navigating through my own mind. Yeah, 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 yeah. It took me a yeah, long yeah. time to realize that um, how broad de design could be. Um, but I will say to also to speak to the goal of this conversation that there are often huge rifts between what design actually is and what gets branded as design, what gets marked as design, and who gets to say, oh, I'm a designer, as opposed to just like, I'm human, I've been solving problems. Like some problems and some acts of design um, seem to be very invisible. Design was very much about creative engineering. We're gonna create creative engineers. We're gonna combine art and engineering. We're gonna get this new person. So my field, um, design with a capital D, tends to be really kind of elitist, to be honest. You're like trained to be an architect, you're trained to be an urban planner or an, or an expert in design and it's been really exclusive in some ways. And I think we can see with the planning profession and the architecture profession that is primarily white males and women and women of color and people of color in general are missing. Um, so what I really appreciate about the D school with the lowercase d is that it's supposed to be accessible to everyone. Um, and it's supposed to be validating the experiences that people have on the ground um, and making sure that that is captured and part of the process of design. I would define design as a set of tools to approach problems. Um, so it's a process more so than an outcome. And I think a lot of people get caught up in the final product. So you talk about a building and it's like, you know, let's just look at the final product without understanding the process and what it takes to get there. Um, so I think real design is making sure that you get adequate input and you get a lot of um, kind of feedback leading into the, the final outcome. So because I've moved through so many different areas of design, I think I'm able to see it in a very abstract, well, maybe abstract is in the word. I've been able to see where the commonalities are throughout all of these different fields. So I'm... Um, I'm very clear on what is the essence of design, you know? And so like, it doesn't matter what area of design I'm in, I'm clear on what are the design, the basic design skills that people have to get to be, for them to be able to then move through any area of design. So actually I'm no longer a specialist. I am a generalist and I'm, um, I'll, I'll say I'm good at teaching people who are not designers um, 
because I'm able to isolate those skills that they have to, they have to get. So I think that's what design is, is you have some idea, uh, then you get a more precise vision of what, what that needs to actually be. And then you make it. On the plot, not looking down below, jumping Geronimo, feeling phenomenal, phenomenal, pushing the envelope further, uh, I'ma go. like people just want to be heard right like everybody is kind of talking over each other because people just want to be heard and the beauty of the design is it starts with understanding it starts with really saying like we don't know anything let's put our egos aside for a minute and actually just hear and listen and learn in design we really need to think about how we show up who we are as designers. And with what, I, what I mean by that is I think design, and I know design starts with you, right? And when I say design starts with you, is like we always, we always talk about how do we understand, how do we connect to the other, to the communities we're trying to serve. But if we don't take the time to reflect and really be vulnerable through the process itself, we might cause more harm. Trying to find a way, right around with pockets on. I just wanna live a little top down in the winter cold. Now you really feel it. I've been dealing with a feeling limitless and building bridges, navigating through my own mind.